name is Olawale Amusa. I'm here with Fina, our client, and the business is for the meeting with Multi Choice. At that meeting, like we know, we met with her and we met trying to get the uh, enti outstanding entitlement of our clients here. Today, the 18th day of April 2024, Fina has finally met up with the organizers of Big Brother Niger. Yes, Multi Choice, as they discussed everything that concerns their inability to give her all the prizes she won at the 2022 big brother niger season the level up season yes guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl azini williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to this channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video okay guys so let's talk about this whole Fina multi choice. You guys know that from I think on the 9th or the 8th of April, Fina called out multi choice, or even before then, she called out multi choice because they have not given her all her winnings and her prizes you guys also know that fina was the winner for the season seven of the big brother niger show well after companies like advanced soap industries makers of unique soap came out to say that um they sent the one year supply of unique soap to her house which fina's pa said that she received but later said the date that they sent it um that she was out of town and fina also said that she was not even in nigeria at that time so who on earth did they deliver it to also travel better also came out to put out um a post stating that um due to miscommunication from their partners which is multi-choice that was why fina's trip was not given to her well, at the end of the day, multi Choice decided to meet with Fina today, the 18th day of April. And this morning, Fina left her house down to multi Choice office. Of course, with the PCC SIGN, which are the representatives of content creators, kit makers in Nigeria, and of course, her lawyer. Yes, guys. So, according to this statement that has been put out here, which I would read, in fact, you know what? Let me just read it. Um, it says, negotiations and agreement update multi-choice meeting and exchange rates discussion today the acting president of pcc sign michael obina for along with legal representatives from fina olawale and musa lego visited the offices of multi-choice nigeria the recent agreement between pepsi and unique soap is scheduled to be delivered tomorrow friday april 19 2024 while travel better is offering a trip for two to morocco or kenya which we declined the destination options because fina was initially offered the destination options of maldives or jamaica regarding the matter of the one btc it was stated that the exchange rate will reflect the 2022 naira equivalent amounting to 13 million naira however pcc sign and finance legal representatives declined the offer due to concerns about potential repercussions resulting from multi-choices negligence the acting president of pcc sign insisted that the agreed upon 1BTC should be based on the current exchange rate. Multi Choice has agreed to further discuss this matter with Quidax Global and provide a response to PCC, SIGN, and FINA. Um, Mr. Michael, acting national president, PCC, SIGN. So basically, that was the summary of the meeting now it's quite crazy right isn't it crazy that these people waited to be dragged they waited for fina to talk after two years before they started you know dragging their feet about this whole matter like it's crazy how quidas and multi-choice are saying that oh um we are going to be giving you the equivalent of that you know um one btc in naira are they not crazy look you don't have to be a lawyer to understand what this is all about you had an agreement with someone stating that you are going to give the person one btc nowhere was it written that they are going to be giving her the naira equivalent of one btc what was written there is one btc if you have an agreement with somebody 
on a particular, you know, currency, whatever, give that person what is written. Whether, you know, the amount has, or the equivalence or the value has gone up or down, it's not your business. What matters is that you give the person what was agreed upon. Now they are saying, oh, because, you know, um, one BTC, according to their own calculation, was about 30 million naira as of, you know, 2022. Now it's about 90 million naira, if I'm not mistaken. So, what if, let's just assume, what if then it was 13 million naira and now it's about 5 million naira? Will they still insist that they will give her the equivalent of what it was as at that time? Would they not say, you know what, just take one BTC and go because the value is now down? You see, this is man in humanity to man. This is what greed does. Give this girl what you guys agreed upon. That particular season of Big Brother brought in so much funds for you guys. Now it's looking like she might not actually be the one that, you know, they wanted to win, but she was the one that people wanted to win. The, the streets literally went out for Fina. It was her show, basically. This girl worked her ass off to get that win. In fact, this particular show, you know, Big Brother Niger, is the reason a lot of people hate Fina till today. Do you understand? So let them give her what belongs to her. And for Travel Better coming out to say, oh, you know, initially they said Dubai, right? Now, of course, Nigeria and Dubai, government issues, Nigerians were banned from Dubai and all of that, except for a certain age and all of that. We get that. Now, in their write-up, you know, um, back in April 9th, they actually said, oh, Maldives, Jamaica, one of them. So why are they coming back to say, oh, um, Kenya or Morocco? Kenya or Morocco, now who's friend? Beautiful travel destinations, don't get me wrong. But according to what was put out there, they should give us something close to what, you know, was promised. Like, make it make sense. I mean, unique soap, Pepsi, I just don't even want to go into that because if I am a corporate entity and I fulfilled my obligations initially and somebody is coming out to say that I did not fulfill it, have you know that when someone, a company delivers stuff to you, if you even get a delivery for maybe DHL or something, you or someone, you know, that represents you will have to sign. So let's say if I'm a corporate entity and somebody is coming out online to say, oh, that what I delivered, I did not deliver them. What I will do is basically to bring out proof that it was actually, you know, received and signed, right? What I would not do is to start saying, you know what, I'll supply another year supply for you. I'll give you another one year supply. But I mean, it is what it is. For what is what, they said tomorrow they are going to fulfill it. Um... It's a good sign, honestly. I love the fact that Fina did not go alone. I love the fact that she had people that are, you know, very conversant with things like this, handling this issue for her. For those people that are saying, oh, she shouldn't have, see your life. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. If you keep saying, what will people say about me? And you keep accepting rubbish and you keep, you know, um, closing your mouth when you're supposed to be opening your mouth, refusing to demand for your rights that probably you have worked hard for people will keep trampling upon you and the beautiful thing about this whole thing is it has opened doors honestly whoever is going to win anything for big brother this year trust me they would make sure that they fulfill everything it will keep the organizers the sponsors on their toes and they know they will not want to repeat another fina episode again so i think you know the upcoming big brother niger winner should honestly thank fina because she is the one that bore the bronze you know and paved the way honestly she spoke up and she's about to get what rightfully belongs to her. That's all I have to say about this. I'm going to be leaving you guys with statements from the PCC people, um, representatives and finance lawyers at the end of this clip. But I want to ask you guys, what are your thoughts on all of this? Do you think Fina should just, you know what, I said the 13 million and move on? Or sh should she insist on getting what exactly was promised her which is the one btc let me know your thoughts in the comment section on that note i'd like to say a very big thank you to you all for being part of my channel if you have not yet subscribed what exactly are you doing kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video until i come your way again i remain your darling girl is williams Hello, Ali Amusa. Again, the Fina, my client. 
and the BCC is for the meeting with multi choice. At that meeting, like we know, we met with her and we met trying to get the uh, enti outstanding entitlement of our client here. Travel Better has uh, they tried to renege on their initial promise by offering us or offering our clients a trip to either Morocco or Kenya, which we rightly refused. Our last reach out to them was that she'll be going to uh, Maldives, the island of Maldives. So that has been communicated to them and we expect them to get back to us very shortly. Yes, uh, the most important of it all is the ETC promise they made to uh, that they are now saying that uh, they are going to give an equivalent of the BTC as at 2022, which is not right. What we are asking for is for her to get the BTC exactly how they said it to her wallet. We don't need this thing to be sent to her. If that is her uh, price, it's her right, you know. So we are not agreeing to what they have said about giving the equivalent is about 13 million according to their own calculation. Our own calculation is different. And you know how BTC is. It has different uh, prices at different levels. It's at 2024, it has its own prices. If she had saved the BTC in her wallet, it's at 2024, she would be making a lot of gain by now. You know, so we are standing by the BTC. She must get the BTC, you know, and then, you know, so that her price will be concluded and everything, everybody will be fine. Pepsi and Unique, they have both agreed that they'll be sending to us by tomorrow, sending to FINA by tomorrow, one year supply of uh, Pepsi and one year supply of Unique. So, so that's the update as we got.